Time displacement. My friends, time displacement. You may have seen it on TikTok. The most common use is like people turning around, so let's just do that first. Shoot some video at the highest frame rate you can. Most phones will do 60 frames per second, which is great. The reason you shoot a high frame rate is because the effect wants as much temporal resolution as you can give it, meaning the highest number of frames per second, smoothest motion. It needs a lot of that data because it's going to be shifting things around in time. You'll see what it looks like later. The effect tends to look best on footage shot with no camera movement, so it is worth taking the time to set up a tripod or set your camera on a table or however you want to stabilize it. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. And one is obviously more interesting than the other and less nauseating. Now we open After Effects, set your project to 16-bit color. Trust me on that. 8-bit does not play nicely with the gradients that we will be doing later, so 16-bit color. Then create a composition with your footage. Trim the composition as you like. Now create a solid. I'm going to name mine Gradient. Add a gradient ramp effect. I like to set the top to white, the bottom to black. You can do the inverse, you can do whatever you want. I don't care, but for this example, that's what I'm doing. Uh, turn off the layer visibility for the solid because we don't need to see it. Now add the time displacement effect to the video layer. And then in the effect dialog, set the time displacement layer to your gradient solid. Make sure to select the effects and masks option so it's not referring to just the blank white or black or whatever color you happen to have selected. It refers to the gradient. And then for now I'm leaving the max displacement and time resolution at the default settings and let's just see what is happening to our footage. Okay, so where the gradient is white, the corresponding pixels of the video are moving forward in time uh, 60 frames or one second. And where it's black, they're moving backwards the same amount, 60 frames back. And in the middle, where the value is you know, halfway between black and white, the video frame showing actually corresponds to where your current time indicator is in your timeline. If we adjust the max displacement, we can either grow or shrink that difference and exaggerate or make more subtle the effect. We are not limited to using gradients. We can use whatever image we want. We can actually, the default is to use the, the video itself which gives us all sorts of weird looking stuff. Light pixels are moving forward, black pixels backward in time. And the reason that we shoot the high frame rate is because the time resolution is limited by the amount of, of data that's actually captured by the camera. By default, it's set to 60, and if you shoot 60 frames per second, that's, that's perfect. That's where you should live. What you can do if you want to increase the uh, temporal resolution of your video without actually having the capability to, to shoot crazy high frame rates is you can just move extra slow and then speed the video up by interpreting the footage in After Effects as some crazy high frame rate, whatever you want. Then when you put that in your comp, you'll be able to set your time resolution to a corresponding number. You'll end up with some smoother stepping in those vertical lines of resolution in the displacement. Here are some examples and you can kind of see the recipe of how I made these. I found that this is really great for animating text because layers that have their movement generated within After Effects are not limited by the temporal resolution of a camera. So you can crank the time resolution and After Effects has the data, has it knows the interpolation and it can just fill that in smoothly so you can get some really nice results. I love messing with this stuff. Admittedly, it is not useful very often. I mean, it's mostly used in experimental music videos and things like that. But it's a nice little tool to have in the toolkit when the need arises. So goodbye. 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 We. Whoop. Whoa, dizzy.